Howdy y'all, this is Lone Star Keto Girl. I wanted to talk a little bit about specifically my fear of fat. For so, so many years, I thought fat was the enemy. I mean, you know, you've always heard you eat fat, you get fat, right? So if you heard it enough, it's probably true. And that's what your doctors tell you. That's what you've read in magazines and seen on TV and study after study. Oh, goodness gracious, fat is bad. So I definitely took that to heart. Well, goodness, way back when I was still living at home as a teenager, my mother switched butter to margarine. And of course, we had the good cooking oil, you know, like safflower oil and, you know, vegetable oil, all the, the good stuff, right? And everything was low fat, low fat cottage cheese, low fat dressing, low fat, low fat, low fat. And I continued that trend because I thought that's what you were supposed to do. And even though I ate low fat, low fat, low fat, everything, even low fat cheese, ooh, um, it, it didn't seem to make any difference. I kept gaining weight, gaining weight, gaining weight, gaining weight. And uh, you know, of course I ate a lot of processed foods too, but I'm sure the low fat stuff did not help matters at all. <clears throat> And I continued to do that for a good 40 years of my life until I came across keto. And I started learning that there are some actual healthy fats and that your body needs it. What? Your body needs fat? No, 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 because that's not what we've been told. So it was really hard for me to wrap my mind around that one. And I went ahead and decided, okay, I'm gonna give this a go. I'm gonna just go for it and see what happens. But my mind, oh, and plus with my past, with the eating disorders I've had, et cetera, I, I just, it was so hard to allow myself to have any fat. But I did it. And the first thing I realized was, holy cow, fat tastes fabulous. I had no clue what I was missing out on. And then the more I read on fat, the more I began to understand just how important it is for the body and that you do need it. And so I allowed myself to have more fat. I didn't really get into the fat bombs or fat coffee or anything like that, but I did allow myself to cook in butter or olive oil, co coconut oil, because I was keto at the time. And every, it was just a game changer and I felt fabulous. So there was a little something to that, you know, whole fat thing. Now that doesn't mean it's good to eat a stick of butter or to drink a stick of butter or to, you know, eat a pan full of uh, fat bombs to meet your macros or whatever. I never worried a whole lot about meeting my fat macros necessarily. I made sure I got my protein and I made sure my carbs stayed under the 20 grams. And then fat was just kind of what I did until I was full. And I got to the point where fat was so satiating that I didn't really need very much of it. And it just did wonders for my body. I mean, my hair, my skin, um, being able to focus and think with a clear head, it was just amazing. But again, I still had some fat on my body. So I also knew that that needed to burn. And so I didn't wanna overdo the fat to where my body was working on using the fat that I ingested versus the fat that's still in my body. So I've been very aware of that too. And now going carnivore, pretty much what I do is I still like, I'll be honest, I still like lean cuts of meat. That's very difficult for, for me to eat the fatty cuts of meat. So I do occasionally add some butter or bacon grease or for when I cook the meat, whatever. So I get a little bit of fat there because I was finding out that uh, I was getting hungrier on carnivore than I was on keto. And the only thing I could figure was that I wasn't getting in enough fat to satiate me. And I, I physically could not eat any more protein. So that was not the issue. I, I just couldn't eat anymore. And uh, so I increased my fat just a little, not a lot, just like maybe a tablespoon of butter through the day. I mean, that's not much, but that's all it took. So I've kind of find, found my balance now and it makes me feel pretty good. So 
do some research on fat if you're still a little afraid of that. There's so, so many good uh, keto and low carb books out there that specifically address this issue. And just be easy on yourself if you're still fearing fat because it's been ingrained in us for a very long time. So it is gonna take a little bit of adjustment. But just know that healthy fats are good for you, but don't overdo it. There's no need to, you know, eat that stick of butter. There really isn't, even though butter is pretty yummy. And I didn't have a clue that butter was so good because I've used margarine for so much of my life. And that's a really scary thought. Eey. I just can't imagine the damage I've done, but oh well, at least I know now and can move on. So don't fear the fat, but don't go overboard either. And that's my message for today. Have a wonderful week. Bye.